In this video, we'll be looking at where being used usually begins, the lies that are used for deception, the reasons why you're being used, and the only thing you need to do to stop it. Pay attention and be prepared to take action to protect your honor and dignity. You deserve relationships that uplift and respect you, not ones that tear you down and use you. If you're new to the channel, welcome to Moat Investing St where I help you through stoic wisdom to become your best self every day. Let's get started. Being used like a fool and taken for a ride, not the kind you enjoy, can be humiliating. We all know a good man who suffered heartbreak, financial ruin, loss of family, or even his freedom at the manipulative hands of an emotionally damaged or even evil woman. Maybe she was a compulsive liar and manipulated him into spending all of his savings on her, then left him when the money ran out. Or maybe she kept him on a string until the guy she really wanted became available. Her selfishness drove him crazy, one mile at a time. There are many men who have been used and discarded. And yes, I know there are also men who take advantage of women. If you're a man or a woman watching this, the fact is that you can only do what you can. You can't control another person's beliefs or behavior, only your own. The good news is that taking control of your own beliefs and behaviors can lead to positive change, even if that change means walking away. So, how to avoid being used and manipulated? First, Let's understand where it usually begins. Many times, men, and even women, put themselves in vulnerable positions when they have low self-esteem or are desperate for love and attention. This can cause them to ignore red flags and accept unacceptable behaviors in the hope of maintaining the relationship. It's crucial to recognize your worth and understand that you deserve to be treated with respect and dignity. Work on your confidence and surround yourself with people who genuinely value you. Additionally, it's essential to set clear boundaries from the beginning. If something doesn't feel right or you feel uncomfortable with how you're being treated, it's important to communicate your feelings and expectations assertively. Don't be afraid to say no and walk away from situations that aren't healthy for you. Remember, a relationship should be a partnership where both sides support and respect each other. It's also important to pay attention to the signs of manipulation. Manipulative people often use tactics like guilt, shame, and lies to control and exploit others. Be aware of behaviors like constant requests for favors without reciprocity, excessive criticism, and a lack of transparency. Learn to identify these signs and trust your instincts. If something feels wrong, it probably is. Finally, the only thing you need to do to stop being used is to value yourself above all else. Prioritize your emotional and mental well-being, and don't settle for less than you deserve. If you find yourself being manipulated or used, have the courage to walk away from the situation. It might be hard, but it's better than allowing someone to continue to harm you. Remember, your happiness and health are more important than any toxic relationship. To understand all this, let's begin where being used usually begins, a bad childhood. Many of the reasons people allow themselves to be used stem from not feeling good enough, which often begins in childhood. Sometimes, even those who had a great childhood are tricked by a master manipulator, and this usually leads to the same reasons that we'll explore. However, if you were neglected, abused, or abandoned by your primary caregivers, the people who were supposed to love you most, you may have come to believe you weren't worthy of healthy love. When you internalize blame for your caregiver's inability to love you, you often behave in ways that attract people who treat you poorly. It's not your fault, you were just a child. And the hard truth is that most of your parents were doing the best they could, even if it wasn't enough. People lacking self-esteem usually go down two different paths, 
they either become the user, I'll get them before they get me, or they become the used, I'll give them everything to earn their love. These seemingly opposite ends are often instantly attracted to each other. Remember, we are all a little damaged, but we can heal our emotional wounds if we acknowledge them. You can't heal what you're not willing to see. This is not about blaming yourself, but taking responsibility where you can. Actually, that's good news because it means there are things you can work on to be happier, or at least less miserable, even if you decide to be single forever. Not because you're not worthy, but because you deserve better. So, without further ado, let's break down the 15 reasons why men are used by women. Note that this can also apply to women who allow themselves to be used by men, or by anyone, really, it applies to anyone who allows themselves to be used by anyone. Low Self-Esteem Men with low self-esteem may believe they don't deserve better treatment and therefore tolerate being used. They may tell themselves, maybe I don't deserve anything better, after all, who else would want me? Have you ever said that? If you've ever had that kind of thought, it's essential to recognize that it's a mental trap. Low self-esteem can make you settle for less than you deserve and put yourself in situations where you're exploited. This cycle can be difficult to break, but not impossible. Let's talk about how to shift this mentality. First, start working on your self-esteem actively. This could involve therapy, reading self-help books, or even practicing daily affirmations. Remember that self-esteem isn't fixed, it can be cultivated and strengthened over time. Focus on your qualities, achievements, and the things you like about yourself. Celebrating small victories can make a big difference in how you see yourself. Surround yourself with people who value and respect you. Healthy and supportive relationships can help reinforce a positive self-image. Friends and family who encourage you and appreciate who you are can serve as a constant reminder of your worth. Avoid people who belittle you or make you feel inadequate. Establish clear standards and boundaries for yourself. Decide what you're willing to accept in a relationship and what is unacceptable. These standards should be based on mutual respect and care. Don't be afraid to walk away from situations or people who don't meet these criteria. Sometimes, this means being alone for a while, but it's better than being with someone who doesn't value you. Work on your emotional and financial independence. When you feel secure and self-sufficient, you're less likely to tolerate abusive or manipulative behaviors. Invest in your personal and professional development so you can feel more confident in your abilities and less dependent on external validation. Finally, remember that you deserve to be loved and respected exactly as you are. No one deserves to be used or treated as less than valuable. Change doesn't happen overnight, but by taking proactive steps to improve your self-esteem and setting healthy boundaries, you can build a future where you're treated with the respect and dignity you deserve. So, if you've ever caught yourself thinking that you don't deserve better, start challenging those thoughts now. Recognize your intrinsic value and continually work to strengthen your self-esteem. You are worthy of love, respect, and happiness, and you should never settle for less than that in any aspect of your life. Fear of Loneliness the fear of being alone can lead men to accept subpar relationships to avoid loneliness. They may say, I hate being alone, anything is better than facing that feeling, even if it means putting up with horrible things. If you've ever felt this way, it's important to understand that this fear can be a trap that keeps you in harmful situations. Let's explore how to overcome this fear and pursue healthy relationships. Recognize that loneliness is a common and temporary feeling. Everyone goes through periods of loneliness, and it's not a personal flaw. Use this time to connect with yourself and discover what truly makes you happy. 
Activities like reading, pursuing hobbies, meditating, or even solo travel can be ways to enjoy your own company and reduce the fear of loneliness. Build a strong support network. Relationships with friends and family can provide the emotional connection you need, without necessarily depending on a romantic partner. Engage in social activities, join groups or clubs that share your interests. This can help create a sense of community and belonging that lessens feelings of loneliness. Invest in your personal and emotional growth. Learning to be comfortable with yourself is essential to avoid harmful relationships. Consider therapy as a tool to work through your fears and develop greater self-confidence. Therapy can provide techniques for managing anxiety and building a stronger sense of self-worth. Set clear standards for relationships. Understand what's important to you in a partner and a relationship. What are your boundaries? What behaviors are unacceptable? Having these criteria in mind can help you make more informed decisions and avoid situations where you're just settling for less to avoid being alone. Remember that being in a bad relationship can be more lonely than being alone. Feeling trapped in a relationship that doesn't value or respect you can increase loneliness and decrease your quality of life. Prefer peace and the opportunity to find someone who truly values you, rather than settling with someone who only exacerbates your fear of being alone. Finally, practice self-care and self-love. Take care of your physical and mental health, establish routines that bring you joy and comfort. Find ways to pamper yourself and celebrate your accomplishments, no matter how small. The more you value and care for yourself, the less likely you are to accept relationships that don't do you good. So, if the fear of loneliness is leading you to accept less than you deserve, start challenging that fear today. Recognize your worth and work to create a fulfilling and satisfying life on your own. Remember that the right person will see you for who you are and respect you fully, without making you feel alone or unvalued. Desire for Validation Seeking validation and approval from women can lead men to ignore the fact that they're being used. You may tell yourself, I just need her to like me. If she likes me, maybe I'll finally feel valuable. This happens because the male brain is more sensitive to positive stimuli, while the female tends to be more sensitive to negatives. This explains why men can fall for these ploys easily. If you find yourself in this situation, it's important to recognize and address this desire for external validation. Let's explore how to overcome this need and seek a more solid and healthy sense of self-worth. Understand that true validation must come from within. Self-worth shouldn't depend on another person's approval but on the recognition of your own value. Reflect on your qualities, accomplishments, and characteristics that make you unique. Make a list of these attributes and reread it whenever you feel insecure or seek external validation. Invest in your personal development. Learning new skills, pursuing personal interests, and setting life goals can boost your self-esteem. When you're focused on becoming the best version of yourself, the need for external validation decreases. Moreover, by engaging in activities that bring you satisfaction, you become more confident and secure in yourself. Establish clear standards and boundaries in relationships. Don't let your desire for approval make you accept less than you deserve. Define what is acceptable and unacceptable in a relationship, and don't be afraid to walk away when those standards aren't met. Remember, you deserve respect and genuine appreciation. Practice self-compassion. Be kind to yourself and acknowledge that it's natural to seek approval, but it shouldn't define your worth. In moments of insecurity, treat yourself with the same gentleness and understanding you would offer a friend. Accept that we all have moments of doubt, 
but we can overcome it with self-understanding and patience. Work to strengthen your social relationships outside of the romantic context. Friends and family can offer a solid support system and help validate your experiences and feelings genuinely. Engage in social activities, participate in groups or clubs that share your interests. Having a diverse support network can reduce the pressure to get validation solely from romantic relationships. Finally, consider seeking professional guidance. A therapist can help explore the roots of this desire for validation and offer strategies for developing a stronger and more independent self-esteem. Therapy can be a powerful tool for better understanding your motivations and building a solid foundation of self-confidence. So, if the desire for validation is leading you to be used in relationships, it's time to reassess and take steps to strengthen your self-worth. Recognize your inherent value and work to become the best version of yourself, regardless of the approval of others. Remember, the most important validation is the one that comes from within. Emotional Attachment Strong emotional bonds can blind men to the fact that they're being used, causing them to prioritize their attachment over their own well-being. You may tell yourself, I know she's using me, but I can't help it. I'm so in love with her that I'd rather be miserable with her than lose her. This emotional attachment often makes us ignore clear signs that we're being manipulated. It's crucial to understand that true love must be reciprocal and respectful. Let's explore some strategies for dealing with this situation and strengthening your self-esteem and emotional independence. Recognize the signs of manipulation. Identify behaviors like emotional manipulation, blackmail, lack of reciprocity, and disrespect. Ask yourself if the person truly values who you are or if they're just benefiting from your attachment. Having this clarity is the first step in making healthier decisions. Practice gradual detachment. This doesn't mean cutting off all ties at once but starting to emotionally distance yourself. Gradually reduce the time and energy you devote to this person. Engage in activities you love that bring you joy independent of the relationship. This will help create a healthy emotional distance. Cultivate your support network. Talk to trusted friends and family about your feelings. They can offer valuable perspectives and emotional support. Don't underestimate the power of a solid support system to help you see the situation more clearly and objectively. Strengthen your self-esteem. Remind yourself of your qualities and achievements. Write down your skills, talents, and moments of success. Reaffirm to yourself that you deserve to be loved and respected for who you are, not for what you can offer someone. Set clear boundaries. Establish what is acceptable and unacceptable in a relationship. Be firm in your convictions and don't be afraid to enforce these boundaries. This shows that you value yourself and won't allow yourself to be used. If the person truly cares, they will respect your boundaries. Seek professional help. A therapist can help explore the reasons for your attachment and provide tools for developing stronger emotional independence. Therapy can be fundamental to understanding behavioral patterns and working on your self-worth. Visualize a healthy future. Imagine what your life would be like without the toxic presence of this person. Think about the opportunities for personal growth and happiness you'll have when you free yourself from this attachment. Visualizing a positive future can motivate you to take the necessary steps to achieve that state. Finally, be patient with yourself. Breaking free from emotional dependence takes time and effort. Allow yourself to feel and process emotions without judging yourself. Every small step towards emotional independence is a victory. Celebrate your achievements, even the smallest ones, and keep moving forward. 
Remember, you deserve to be in a relationship where love and respect are mutual. Recognize your worth, establish healthy boundaries, and work on your emotional independence. With time, you'll break free from toxic attachment and find more fulfilling and balanced relationships. Financial Dependence Men who are financially dependent on women may tolerate being used to maintain their financial security. While it used to be men who brought home the bacon, in the modern world, mamas often make a lot of money, which can hurt a man's self-esteem. You may say something like, I may not bring home a lot of money, but at least she's supporting me. I guess I owe her something for that. To address this situation, it's fundamental to work on your financial independence. Start by identifying your skills and interests that can be monetized. This could involve taking training courses, seeking new jobs, or even starting your own business. Building your financial independence not only reinforces your self-esteem, but also reduces feelings of debt and obligation in the relationship. Additionally, have open conversations with your partner about the financial dynamics. Healthy relationships are built on communication and equality. Explain how you feel and discuss ways you can contribute in other ways, if financially it's not yet possible. The goal is to create an equilibrium where both feel valued and respected. Hope for change. The belief that the woman will eventually change and treat them better often keeps men in these situations. You might tell yourself, maybe she'll change. Maybe one day she'll see how much I do for her and start treating me better. I know this is a very common one amongst men today, and probably in the past as well. It's important to recognize that waiting for a change in another person can be an emotional trap. True change comes from within and only happens when the person is willing and ready for it. Putting your happiness and well-being in the hands of that uncertainty is risky and often leads to disappointment. To break free from this trap, set clear boundaries and expectations for the relationship. Be honest about what you need to feel valued and respected. If the person doesn't show signs of change or effort, seriously consider whether this relationship is doing you good. Sometimes, the hardest and bravest decision is to move on. Invest in your personal development. Find activities that make you feel fulfilled and satisfied independent of the relationship. This could include hobbies, friendships, exercise, and anything that brings joy and purpose to your life. Increasing your self-esteem and emotional independence will give you the strength to make healthier decisions. Remember, you deserve a relationship where respect and reciprocity are fundamental. Recognize your worth and don't be afraid to make necessary changes for your well-being. Being in a healthy relationship starts with valuing yourself and seeking partnerships that reflect that self-appreciation. Laziness The sheer effort of starting over can lead men to stay in relationships even when they're being used. You might think, it's just how women are. Besides, it's a lot of work to start over, I'll just grin and bear it. To combat this inertia, it's vital to recognize the value of your time and effort. Staying in a toxic relationship may seem easier in the short term, but in the long run, it drains your energy and negatively impacts your mental health. To embark on a new journey, start with small steps. First, honestly assess your feelings and the relationship's impact on your life. From there, set clear and realistic goals to improve your situation. This could include pursuing new hobbies, reconnecting with friends, or investing in your personal and professional development. Understand that the effort of starting over is an investment in yourself. Seek inspiration from stories of overcoming adversity and remember that every ending is a new beginning. 
Don't underestimate the power of a positive environment and healthy relationships in building a satisfying and meaningful life. Fear of conflict or avoiding confrontation. Avoiding confrontation or conflict can lead men to tolerate being used to maintain peace in the relationship. You might have thought, I hate confrontation. I'll do anything to avoid an argument, even if it means letting her walk all over me. Learning to deal with conflict in a healthy way is essential. Conflict is inevitable, but it doesn't have to be destructive. Developing assertive communication skills is fundamental. This involves expressing your feelings and needs clearly and respectfully, without aggression. Practice conflict resolution techniques, like active listening and seeking mutually beneficial solutions. Strengthening your self-confidence is crucial for facing confrontation. Remember that maintaining peace at the expense of your well-being isn't sustainable. Participating in workshops or therapy can help build these skills and deal with the fear of conflict more effectively. Romantic Idealism The idealization of romance and relationships can cause men to ignore red flags and accept mistreatment. You might have said, I'm a hopeless romantic. I'll put up with anything, as long as she tells me she loves me or gives me gifts on special occasions. Romantic idealism can blind you to the realities of a healthy relationship. It's important to balance romance with rationality. Understand that romantic gestures don't compensate for inadequate or abusive treatment. Establish clear standards and boundaries for acceptable behavior in a relationship. Educate yourself on what constitutes a healthy relationship. Healthy relationships are built on mutual respect, trust, communication, and reciprocity. Make a list of the qualities you value in a partner and compare them to the reality of your current relationship. This can help identify discrepancies and make more informed decisions. Finally, seek emotional support. Talking to trusted friends, family members, or a therapist can provide fresh perspectives and help reinforce your self-esteem. Understanding that we deserve to be treated with dignity and respect is the first step in building truly satisfying relationships. Sexual Gratification Men may accept being used in a relationship if it satisfies their sexual needs. This is more applicable to men than women. You might have said, as long as she satisfies me in bed, I think I can ignore the rest. While sexual gratification is an important part of relationships, it shouldn't be the sole reason for staying in a toxic one. In the short term, pleasure might seem like fair compensation, but in the long run, this can damage your emotional and mental health. To overcome this, it's crucial to recognize that healthy relationships offer much more than just physical gratification. They involve emotional support, mutual respect, open communication, and shared growth. Reflect on the balance between the emotional and physical aspects of your relationship. Ask yourself if the moments of physical pleasure truly outweigh the emotional and psychological wear and tear you might be experiencing. Invest in self-awareness and personal development. Understanding your needs and desires beyond the physical can help you seek more balanced and fulfilling relationships. Don't be afraid to seek therapeutic support if you feel you need help breaking this cycle. Remember, you deserve a relationship where all your needs, not just the physical ones, are met in a healthy and balanced way. Lack of Awareness Sometimes, men may not even realize they're being used due to a lack of awareness or experience. You might think, I'm so naive that I don't even see how much she's using me, but ignorance is bliss, right? Lack of experience in relationships can lead to accepting toxic behaviors as normal. However, ignorance is not bliss when it comes to your emotional well-being. 
Increasing your awareness of the signs of an abusive or manipulative relationship is crucial. Education and knowledge are the first defenses against being used. Read about the dynamics of healthy relationships, join support groups, or talk to trusted friends about their experiences and perceptions. Often, hearing the stories of others can illuminate aspects of your own life that you hadn't noticed before. Develop skills of self-communication and self-assessment. Ask yourself questions about your feelings and experiences in the relationship. How do you feel most of the time? Are you satisfied and fulfilled, or do you feel constantly exploited and undervalued? This self-reflection can help you identify harmful patterns and behaviors. Finally, seek mentorship or professional counseling. A therapist or counselor can offer valuable insights and strategies for improving your perception and strengthening your self-esteem. Remember, awareness is the first step towards change. By increasing your understanding and perception, you'll be better equipped to make decisions that promote your well-being and happiness. Emotional Manipulation Women who are skilled manipulators can exploit men's emotions, making it difficult for them to recognize the manipulation. You may have thought, she manipulated me? No way, I'm too smart for that, right? However, emotional manipulation can be subtle and deceptive, making it difficult for anyone, regardless of their intelligence, to perceive that they're being manipulated. The ability to identify these manipulative tactics is crucial to protecting your emotional health and well-being. To deal with emotional manipulation, start by educating yourself about the common signs and tactics of manipulation. Read about gaslighting, emotional blackmail, and other forms of psychological manipulation. Being aware of these strategies can help you recognize when they're being used against you. Additionally, trust your instincts. If something feels off or makes you uncomfortable, don't ignore those feelings. Strengthen your support network. Talking to trusted friends and family members can offer an outside perspective and help you see situations you may be overlooking. These people can provide the necessary emotional support and help reinforce your self-esteem. Set clear boundaries and maintain them. Manipulators tend to test and push boundaries, so it's important to be firm about what you accept or don't accept in a relationship. If the manipulation persists, Consider seeking help from a mental health professional for additional guidance and coping strategies. Remember, you deserve to be treated with respect and dignity. Past Trauma Previous emotional or psychological trauma can affect a man's self-esteem and decision-making in relationships. You might have thought, I'm the defective product. Maybe that's why I put up with her treating me like garbage. Past traumas can create deep emotional wounds that negatively influence how you see yourself and how you allow others to treat you. Recognizing the impact of past traumas is the first step towards healing. It's vital to understand that painful experiences don't define your worth or your deservingness of love and respect. Seeking therapy or counseling can be incredibly beneficial. Mental health professionals can help unravel and address these wounds, providing a safe space to explore and process difficult emotions. Work on developing a positive self-image. Practice self-compassion and self-care regularly. Remind yourself that everyone has value and deserves to be treated with kindness and respect regardless of their past experiences. Engage in activities that bolster your self-esteem and confidence. This could include hobbies, exercise, meditation, or anything else that makes you feel good about yourself. Cultivating a positive mindset and surrounding yourself with people who value and respect you can make a huge difference. Caretaker Role 
Men who see themselves as caretakers, providers, or responsible individuals may allow themselves to be used out of a sense of duty or responsibility. This is more common in older men, who were often raised with the idea that they should be the pillar of support in a relationship. You might think, it's my duty to take care of her, even if it means sacrificing my own happiness. How often does that happen? I bet some of you have said that to yourselves. The idea of caring and protecting is noble, but it shouldn't come at the expense of your own happiness and well-being. To address this situation, it's essential to redefine what it means to be a caretaker. Caring shouldn't be synonymous with sacrificing your own mental and emotional health. Set clear boundaries about what is acceptable and unacceptable in terms of care and support. Learn to say no when necessary, and remember that you also deserve to be cared for. Seek balance. Being an effective caretaker means taking care of yourself too. Make time for your own needs and interests. Engage in activities that bring you joy and relaxation. This not only improves your well-being but also gives you more energy and capacity to care for others in a healthy way. Consider talking to a therapist or counselor to explore your motivations and develop strategies to balance your role as a caretaker with the need to take care of yourself. Mental health professionals can offer a valuable perspective and help break harmful behavioral patterns. Misplaced Loyalty Loyalty to your partner, even when it's not reciprocated, can lead men to stay in relationships where they're being used. You might think, I'm loyal to a fault. I'll stand by her no matter what. Have you ever said or thought any of these statements? Share your experiences in the comments, and I'm sending you a big hug. Loyalty is an admirable virtue, but it must be mutual to be healthy and sustainable. To resolve this issue, it's essential to assess whether the loyalty you're offering is reciprocated. Healthy relationships are built on respect and reciprocity. If you're giving more than you're receiving, it's time to reassess your situation. Have open and honest conversations with your partner about your needs and expectations. Explain how you feel and what you need to feel valued and respected. Communication is crucial to resolve imbalances in any relationship. Don't be afraid to consider the possibility of leaving a relationship that doesn't meet your emotional and psychological needs. While it may be difficult, remembering that you deserve to be in a relationship where both partners are loyal and respect each other mutually is crucial for your long-term well-being. Remember, this applies to men and women. We all can act childish at times. Now, if three or more of these reasons seem a little too close to home, I highly recommend talking to a therapist. You deserve to be treated with respect, and it starts with you treating yourself with respect. There's no shame in seeking help to heal the wounds that still hurt. Remember, you are worthy of healthy love. Believe in yourself, and I wish you a great day. Until next time.